Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Chris the Butcher and friends. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing the same t-shirt in the third video running, that's because I've done three videos today. Right? It's not I've been wearing the same t-shirt for an entire week or something like that. Look at that scruffy bastard. He's had the same t-shirt on for a week now. No, I've done three videos today. Uh, I'm doing another one tomorrow, which you'll see before this, and that's involving the OB here. You'll know it's already called the OB. There it is. Uh, obviously, I'm showing you that now. This is before I've done the video because it's not allowed to temperature. It's only at six degrees. And it's still in, unfiltered in there, as you know. I can't wait. So, yeah, on the theme of bargain. Bargain meals. I've got some poet steaks from a bit religion. Oh, oh. Got some poet steaks. Got some roast potatoes. I've got some oh green beans. I've got some savoy cabbage. I've got some uh, gravy granules in the cupboard that I've had for ages. So not used up yet because I bought a big fuck off jug of them. And uh, yeah, we're having a, a bargain. Bargain buy, would you say? But it's a cheap one. It's going to feed me, Luke, and Josh. So three fully grown adults and two fat bastards. And uh, it's going to be very, very cheap. It's cost, I think it was four, four pounds for them. Four, five, six, seven. I'm not going to use all that. So I'd say about six pounds. So it's basically two pound each for a pork roast dinner. Bargain. Also, forgot to tell you, it's a Just Our Tea episode, whatever the fuck it is. So we're starting this with the pork steaks. Now, they're not very thick. They won't take long to cook. I've dropped a little bit of water in the bottom of the pan because I don't want them to stick. Uh, I want to keep them a little bit moist. Uh, I'm going to spray them with some way fucking love garlic right in this house. Because it like, makes things nice and garlicky and nice and crispy. And it's fucking great for my cholesterol. Uh, that and a bit of salt. That is all I'm putting on it. That's all you need. I'm not bothering with any pepper or anything like that. Uh, come over here. I get a good uh, get a good sprinkle me other on. Don't want too much salt because there'll be salt in the gravy granules. In the gravy. There you go. And uh, I'm gonna put them in the oven. Then they're probably gonna take about probably gonna take about eight, about 30 minutes on 180 degrees, which I ain't even put on yet, so right there we are, the oven is on. And if you come over here now. I have got the Savoy cabbage, I used half the bag, so that's 75 pence, and the uh, green runner beans, and I, I used half a bag, so that was only 45 pence. So what's that? £1.10? Four quid? £5.10? £5.10, I've got the, uh, well hang on, one minute. This is, this is what I mean, this is raw, isn't it? Raw. The Tesco roast potatoes, I think they were, I've been the fucking receipt, I can't remember. Five, but got, I think they were 90 pence. So like I said, six quid. Two pound each, four, two, four, three, three, three. Two pound each for three roast pork dinners. Do you know what, I've lost the will to fucking speak tonight. Three videos I've done today, and I think, I think I've, I'm, uh, I'm fucking burning out a little bit. So anyway, let's get these in the oven. Let's get the uh, get these turned on, these here, and get some roast potatoes in the mystery air fryer. Right, brothers and sisters. The pork steaks are done, and they smell absolutely fabulous. Uh, the roast potatoes are done in the air fryer. I can't be asked showing you that, but I'll flick you up here in a minute. One minute, crude as hell. There you go. 
the cabbage is done, the green beans are done, the only thing I need to do now is make some good old fashioned gravy. There it is, brothers and sisters. My budget roast pork dinner. Kind of like a Sunday dinner, obviously, without all the extra trimmings like Yorkshire puddings and stuff like that. But what do you want? I'm filming this on a Thursday night. So what do you want for a Thursday night tea? You've got pork, you've got runner beans, you've got roast potatoes, you've got some boy cabbage, and you've got some extra, extra northern thick gravy. Oh... Coat that in that gravy. Absolutely orgasmic. And you know what? It'd be absolutely rude not to slide some of this down my gizzard for you, would it? Especially that pork. Louis Adair said the pork's cutting really, really well. That is tender. That is the tail end of the uh, pork steak, which is the fattiest, and let's be honest. That is my favourite, favourite bit. That, brothers and sisters. I put hairs on your chest like fucking velvet. Mmm. Mmm. Do you know what? Work tight, two quid a meal. Three plates, exactly the same like that. Apart from I've got three, Josh had three. Lou got two pieces of pork steak. It worked out at two quid, a uh, two quid a plate. So well within a budget. Oh, I have got some left over. I've got some cabbage left over. I've got a few spring beans left over. I've got some uh, roast potatoes left over. I've got a good glug of jerk. Great, good glug of gravy. Can't speak again. It's been a long day. It's currently uh, 9 p.m. I've been at it on and off since. Uh, half past 11 <laughs> this out this morning uh, I'm coming to an end now the perfect draft is still not up to down to temperatures at 5 degrees so I'll be doing that tomorrow but you'll see that before you see this that well the pork steaks were superb the gravy tasted excellent everyone knows what else is going to taste like it's going to be amazing it? especially for 2 quid have I told you it's 2 quid Anyway, I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'll become a family member of hashtag Team CTB, where I fucking love you. Oh, and by the way, at this moment in time, I have absolutely no clue which episode of Just Out Tea it is. It'll be in the title.